Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420 and today we're going to talk about YouTube's new monetization rule. So if you guys haven't heard about it lately, uh, YouTube has this new rule where they're say, uh, basically what they're doing is they're saying that from now on in order to be eligible for YouTube's monetization, so AdSense program, um, you need to have a minimum of 10,000 lifetime views on your channel. Now I know 10,000 sounds like a lot, but when in the in the grand scheme of things, um, <laughs> ten thousand views isn't a lot. And as far as like AdSense money, ten thousand views might get you four dollars. So, um, it, like, it's not like they're taking away money from startups and saying like, no, you're not worthy of this cash or whatever. Um, basically, what they're doing is they're taking um, basically they're trying to take their advertisers' uh, worries and kind of mellow them out a little bit by saying okay from now on what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to over the course of those 10,000 views and up until that point we're gonna be able to go through this channel check it out see that make sure that the content follows the guidelines follows advertiser blah blah blahs and all of this stuff to make sure that it fits their customers needs because at the end of the at the end of the day while YouTube has been providing a platform for creators, the end of the day business for YouTube is to make money for YouTube, which means they have to bring in advertisers. Um, otherwise, this whole platform wouldn't work. If they didn't have the advertisers, this just wouldn't be a thing the way it is now. So um, what does that mean for people like me? So somebody like myself, I have maybe in the realm of 8,000 lifetime views on my channel. I'm brand new, I'm a couple months old. Um, so I'm just about to hit like that threshold that they're um, now making the minimum or the bare minimum requirement. As far as me, I've been able to monetize some of my stuff, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, for the most part, it all gets rejected and it all gets demonetized pretty quickly now. Um, I When this first started, I got an email with about, uh, I want to say 14 to 18 videos that were all just you know sent at once and they were like hey this whole list no go <laughs> doesn't fit with our advertisers blah 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 so what's really going to be interesting to me personally is going to be to see how they treat us cannabis channels now here's what's weird about this so so youtube doesn't allow smoking physical smoke coming out of your mouth um if you're going to be advertising even on their platform and i'll explain that this way so i had a buddy of mine who uh he's a rapper and in one of his videos he was smoking um and youtube would not let him like run that like an ad campaign on that and what that means is he tried to pay youtube to let them you know to to, to blast his video out in his, the market that he selected um, it took him five different tries and that's basically what happens is you keep submitting and submitting and submitting and hope that the guy behind the desk is just sleepy enough and doesn't care enough to just say, fuck it, <laughs> I'm going to send it in. Um, and, and so after the fifth time, it finally caught. And basically, so I took that knowledge and that's part of the reason I don't smoke in any of my, you know, any of my videos except for one video. Um, and so... Part of it is because I understood that the YouTube guidelines and what it would mean for me um, as a cannabis channel. The other thing is I don't advertise my channel. I haven't spent a dollar yet on YouTube. Um, the only place I've spent some money was Facebook. And when I did, I targeted my ads um, to 21 and over uh, Washington residents. And uh, once when I first did that, YouTube re or Facebook rejected my ad, but then I explained to them, hey, I'm over 21, recreational cannabis is legal, I don't smoke in any of my videos, um, I'm just trying to get people to get the knowledge so that they do it safely and they're not just out here like, you know, going all crazy. Um, after I explained that to them, they, they actually green-lighted all of my ads from then on. Um, since then, I haven't had a single issue, which is kind of nice. But back to the YouTube thing, I'm not sure how this is going to work out for me. Um, as far as I know and as far as... <sighs> I guess the way I'll say it is, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just going to assume that I don't fit their mold um, because cannabis isn't socially acceptable, isn't by the masses. Now there is there is more social acceptability of cannabis, but that you know the, the fact that I that it's not 100%. You know, everyone's just like, cool, you smoke weed, dope, bro. I smoke weed sometimes too. The same way that people are like, oh, you smoke wine, awesome. I do that from time to time too. Why do you drink it? 
um, that's we're not quite there yet right and like that's the whole point behind this channel is to kind of get there um, but I understand and so that's gonna be the tricky part is gonna see where I'm gonna fit into this whole mess because um, I am a cannabis channel but I do follow some of the other guidelines and again I never smoke on camera which is one of their biggest like no-no's so to speak um, so it, it'll be interesting but again I'm you know I, I'm all for them taking the time to review the content that's on their site that they own they have every right to do that we are guests inside of this youtube home um so at the end of the day i feel like they have every right to do that and here's the thing if they don't do this and more advertisers pull out then this platform falls anyway and then leaves all the creators screwed anyway so it's just a catch-22 for them and for us we have to kind of understand that like hey they're a business they have to make their money some of their people are complaining because the current system isn't working so they're trying to fix the system and hopefully we don't get left behind <laughs> um but anyway uh I, I knew that youtube monetization wasn't going to be a thing for me um that's why i've been looking into glass that's why i did the events and i have the event on 420 in spokane if you're welcome if you want to go um and then I, i'm working on branding like i have the logo so now i'm going to start making t-shirts and start really building a brand because at the end of the day i know watching enough youtubers throughout this time um, that they don't make their money from AdSense. They make it from all of the other opportunities that kind of pop up as you work through this. Um, but yeah, with that, uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it's fair that YouTube all of a sudden just up and change the rules? Do you guys agree with it? Um, do you think that they, do you, do you think that they're going to allow people like me who, um, you know, basically promote quote unquote cannabis or recreational cannabis use, um, or if we're gonna be left outside and told, hey, good luck, we will let you on the platform. But as far as ads, you're gonna have to figure it out. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think it was a good move? Uh, let, let me know down in the comments section. Uh, as you guys know, this has been Recreational 420 and I'll be back again with you guys soon.